our way to uh, Sacramento in that episode SCW. Uh, we got a lot of plan. I hear uh, I hear AJ Styles is getting a new belt design for, for the World Championship. Heard that in the bottom blues, you can't sing no better than Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Do you even listen to him? Of course I listen to Frank Sinatra. Oh, you guys wait. want to, you want, wait, you guys want to the, hear me sing wait, wait, my he, way? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was about to say, he's not the guy that's saying the, um, I'm still standing. Right? And now... Don't you start singing. I might actually have to put that song in and get copyrighted. You won't have to... You won't have to put in Frank Sinatra if I start singing it. Back to the subject and matter. AJ Styles and new belt design. I'm, 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 maybe they get the new belt design. What do you think it'll look like? Do you think it's gonna be like the same strap, or maybe it'll be smaller? It'll probably be extremely unnecessary, but extremely good looking. Extremely unnecessary. What does that mean? Extremely unnecessary design, but extremely good looking design. We don't know what the belt looks like. Why would it be unnecessary? It's the World Championship. It's the, it's the most prestigious championship in SCW. I think it looks it's fine the way it is. Really? Gonna, you know that little centerfold where the globe is? Yes. It's got some, it's like there's some black on it in the strap. Dude, personally, when when uh, when Stephen Palmer, or not even Stephen Palmer, when Gustavo, who was the president at the time, came to me about designing the championships, I put the globe like the same exact shape as the centerpiece of the belt. That way there was no black on it in the middle. But I couldn't do it. That's really a nice idea. Yeah, I couldn't do it because I couldn't find any uh, anybody who could like make a globe out of metal at the time that could sharpen it in that shape. I understand, I understand. So I Why is this guy so close to the yellow? Why are they all up on the yellow? I hate that shit so much, bro. It's more, the only thing more annoying than people who's like always on the yellow are people who don't use their signals. <laughs> people who don't use their signals piss me off. I this is like how long it. it takes, bro. That's it. That's all it takes. I don't like it either, to be honest. That's all it fucking takes. And you don't want to. You don't want to take a half a second out of your life to flick a switch. Flick a switch? That's all it takes. You people upset me. For all the people who don't use your signal, I can't stand you. <laughs> I do not. I despise you. I hate them. I hate people. I, I can deal with swervers. Swerves. People who swerve, that's... I can deal with that. You it's mean, called hitting the brakes and just backing up. You but, mean Isaiah Swerve, Scott? Sure. But people who just don't use their him signals, pretty bro, pretty cool. they're so annoying. You can tell Jalen has a lot of, my commentary card here has a lot of like driving related pet peeves. <laughs> people in New York just love running up at it into the traffic for no good reason. That's now when they get hit, I don't want to hear nothing. What's your best New York accent? Give me your best New York accent. Hey B, give me them Tims B. <laughs> what the hell was that? Give me them Tims B before I have to lay what it was, on you. What is that? Dude, I want you to go watch the Ride Along episode of Sami Zayn and Pac, or Neville as he was known back then. Go watch, go, go listen to his freaking. Come over so we can sit at the bar. You know, that's all a little better. R's. All their better. R's end with an A. What? What do you? Every saying? single R that is in New York, they 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 substitute it with A. Rule. <laughs> How do you spell that? Like, was that the word rule? Rule. <laughs> A bag of cabbage. All right, that was better. That was better. Give me your, give me your, give me your, give me a Staten Island accent. No, oh, I thought you were just gonna be like, sound like Carmelo or something. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Carmela, the princess of Staten Island. N N. Joe, if you can, if you can fall off the ball. Knock over the garbage and start eating the sandwich. I will drop kick every single person in this entire room. <laughs> you started. You started to sound like the you, garbage, and then you lost it. Sounded like yourself. My sandwich is still in there for my turn. Tell him to fish it out and eat it. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Q sandwich is still in there from his turn. So just dive into the garbage and get it. <laughs> Why do you think New Yorkers say garbage like garbage? That's the way they say it. Garbage. It's garbage. They say garbage. <laughs> every R gets substituted with an A. Garbage. <laughs> Barrage. That's just there was no R there. That's Barrage. just that's just Staten Island. We haven't heard any like Brooklyn or Harlem people. I don't need to know the Brooklyn or Harlem people. Honestly. Watch Luke Cage, by the way. That's based in Harlem. This is a really good shot. Now. Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage and pasta. I got I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty alright. What are you looking at? That breakfast baconator. Mm. 
It looks pretty all right, but then again, I don't really trust the way they cook eggs. See, the thing about me when it comes to like restaurants and their eggs, or not even their eggs, it's just their breakfast foods in general. Like, at, at, at first glance, like I look at the picture, I'm like this looks pretty good. And then at the same time, when I want to actually order it, I do. And then I'm like, I, I, I feel disappointed. There we go. Not gonna lie, I feel disappointed. Especially with McDonald's breakfast food. And do you remember the hype McDonald's had about their muffins? Like how their muffins were fucking delicious and stuff? Yeah, you mean those muffins I never see anymore? Yeah, like I've never seen them. I've only seen like one McDonald's muffin in my life. And it was like in like a plastic bag. And another thing, someone told me like it's so greasy. That's what someone, that's what, I, I heard that like back in middle school. Someone told me the McDonald's muffins were greasy as hell. It doesn't surprise me though, because it's McDonald's. That's a little nasty. What are you doing making greasy muffins? How are muffins even greasy? I thought they were like just bread. Aren't they? They are. They shouldn't be greasy at all. Okay. You bet your bottom dollar. He get out of the car. Who's getting out of the car? This fat chick in front of us. In front of us. I'm looking right there. Oh. Oh, she just made that car bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> Y'all see that, right? Y'all heard that, right? <laughs> Terrible. I know you ain't talking. And if he cuts it out, I'll comment on what he said. <laughs> I ain't cutting that out. I thought that was funny. <laughs> now, if I was going to make a car bouncing ain't, ain't, joke, no. I would have made it funny. Mm -hmm. Look no. at the way she made that car do some waves. <laughs> oh, I'm cutting that out because it was too late. <laughs> <laughs> I heard from um, uh, Jesse Robinson, the SCW superstar. Just recently lost the hardcore title. He was actually like happy about it because it gives him a chance to uh, go get it back or focus on another title. But I heard, I heard, Iola. I heard from Jesse that the one of your AEW superstars is because he's good friends with him. He heard that Fred is the worst driver when it comes to like driving up and down the roads with other superstars. He he's told me that. I can see why. He's short and he's from England. Fred ain't that short. He's short. I've met Fred in person. He's not. How how tall is Fred? Fred's like five ten, bro. That's not that short. That's that's tall. Well, that's tall for a woman. Yeah. For men. Well, I'm not sure. For men, he's like. I mean, Fred. Back. Fred is the first five foot ten person I've ever met in my life. So you know, I need to meet like at least like two or three more to like Probably. actually get a. You've met Seth before. Seth. Seth is like five ten. Oh, six our cousin. Feet tall. But he's 12. That's a thing. Yeah, he's a kid. Fred is... Harrington said hi. Oh, he said hi. He Fred is hi. like... Fred is like, what, 26, 27 years old? The Cruiserweight Champion? And he's... And, and he's that... Well, he's past 21, so he ain't gonna grow no more. Fred is 29. All right, yeah, he ain't gonna grow no more. We're gonna take a brief intermission because we're gonna order some food on our way to Sacramento. Like Sir, may you repeat that? What would you like to drink? Uh, Coca Cola, please. Just the first one, please. Thank you. <laughs> Found a dollar on the ground. <laughs> that probably belonged in the car up in front of us. <laughs> he said like thirty bucks. You got a five? I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. Oh wait, never mind. Shit. <laughs> Sound like our uncle. Why not turn on it? Yeah. Wait, how much was it? 3788. God People are up in their prices since this COVID thing started. I wish I could have gotten it on camera. I wasn't thinking. What? You grabbing that dollar. Uh, you like be he... commentator slash general manager. No, I'm just a commentator. If I was the general manager of Sky, I I I I I feel like I would be so biased because I like a lot of guys on that show and I feel like I would only give them opportunities. Not saying that I would, but like I feel like I would. You and just I gotta, would, you gotta like, I, I feel like I wouldn't be fair. Gotta give him the good old. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. You saw that too. Move that shit so we can. Actually, we'll just have for a couple. Of them. Come on. <laughs> Miz, is, I want Miz to bring that back. I heard AJ Styles is also kicking off the episode of SCW we get to Sacramento. I heard AJ Styles is also doing an open challenge. Really. Yes. Really? Thank you. Where did you get that piece of information? I actually work for the company full time. You're just part time. 
Maybe Where did I'm you just get making, that information? Maybe I'm just making silly rumors. No, well, silly rumors indeed, but that would be dope. Please make sure that does not happen. I know, that would be dope if you were to send out an open challenge. Who do you think is going to answer the challenge? Should be Chase De Niro. Chase De Niro? I don't know if Chase wants to show his face after that match he had it, uh, in Japan. You know, he's he's lost to JM three times now. Right. No, wait. Two times. Two times. Two times. He pinned him in that six-man tag team match. I swear I thought Chase was going to ride that momentum all the way to Japan and actually beat him in that tables match. For the record, for disclosure, in case you don't know, Jalen here, big fan of Chase De Niro. I think Chase is by far his favorite SCW superstar. Yeah. Currently or all time? I don't know. You can take a pick. Chase De Niro. What is it about Chase De Niro that you like? The man, I will admit, he's got talent. In all shapes and sizes, he's got a great, great style. He's a great wrestler, and he he knows how to talk on the mic. But the man is like he's he's by far the most arrogant man we have on the roster. And the man thinks he can he should get everything just because he's rich. Listen, what the fuck? <laughs> he's great. All right, just know that. No, that that's not a legitimate reason. It is for me. If I, parents, if I can ask certain parents for a reason, and they say because, I can say this as a reason. Parents who say that a lot. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit. Oh, Mom, Dad, how come we can't do this? Because, and I have to live with that answer? So you're going to have to live with this one. I hate that. I really hate that they do that. Me too. Because, it's not an answer. I've never seen If a I gave you that as an answer, you'd hit me. I've never seen a parent not do that. Like, I'll do it to my little cousins. I feel like we're supposed to pull up ahead. So I forget to mention that this little thing is called Riding with the Peach Boys. I forgot to say that in the intro. I seriously did slip my mind. Do, 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 do. Thank just take this hand day. sanitizer and stuff out and put this cup in here. That's what I was about to suggest. I don't want to hear shit come out of fucking Chase De Niro's mouth. mouth. Chase De Niro's mouth. Are we getting him food? I don't remember Chase texting me in it or you asking him to get him some food. Braun Strowman's on SCW. He's probably going to be pissed when we get there when we come in with all this food. He'll probably try to eat it. You know how Braun Strowman gets when he sees a burger. No! I saw freaking Ride Along. This man, him and Bliss, went to Arby's. I'm pretty sure Braun Strowman ordered like, what, <clears throat> four, five burgers from Arby's and like three orders of large fries? The man was hungry. He almost got it like an, and then Arby's went on Twitter and was talking about, thank you, Braun. That was Wendy's. <laughs> oh. He said this. He said this like the third Wendy's I've been to. They didn't have a chicken wrap, and then they were like, "We're sorry, Braun. Please don't flip the restaurant over." <laughs> Never really making his act. Oh, well, hello there. If you think you can get copyrighted for singing a song, that's really dumb. I, mean, only I sing songs on my channel all the time. We had we had female teams long before the women's tag team titles came up. Well, maybe if they put all the women on one brand. Why do they all have to be on one brand with you, man? They all work differently. If they were all on one brand, then there wouldn't be like a fucking, and there basically shouldn't be another show. You can put all the women on one brand and all the tag teams on the other. That's just me if I was the boss. That is what I would do. And all the poor people who were just yelling at me, what about Otis and Mandy? I'm sorry, these are the sacrifices you have to take and have to make. Why is this guy on the bike tailgating us? I should have slammed the brakes on his bum ass. Don't you fucking dare. I should slam the, I really should slam the brakes on it, but I'm not going to. All right, all right, all right. All right. we made it to the hotel. We're just about there. The GPS here says we're just about there. So uh, thank you for joining us on this first episode of Riding with the Peacher Boys. We gotta, um, we gotta get ready for SCW. We'll see you next time. Jalen. Peace. No, stop, stop, before I, I might actually put in.